look the part for the play. All that's missing are your sparkling red shoes. Mom's picking them up later. I just can't wait for opening night. Thank you. <laughs> I love it when you click the heels of your red shoes three times and are magically transported to a faraway land. Wow. I'd love to get home to the Caribbean for my next birthday. Hello, boys. Hi, Nana. Hi, Ruby. Mum, me and Jack are going upstairs. I'll check in with you after I bring Ruby home. Wow! So, if you click the heels of Ruby's red shoes three times, you fly to a faraway land. I wonder what it's like to fly a pair of magic shoes to anywhere in the whole wide world. We should invite Ruby back so we can try her red shoes. Hmm. Why don't we make a pair ourselves? Wait, I've an idea. Wow, Joe! It's Mum's old shoe collection. She won't mind. Hmm. Too old. Too soft. <laughs> and this is too smelly. Aha! Uh -huh. Perfect! But they're Mum's best shoes. We can't borrow them. She'd be very upset. Only good shoes will do. Old ones have already lost their magic. What's going on? What are my good shoes doing here? Joe? Sorry, Mum. We wanted a pair of magic red shoes, just like Ruby's. Well, they're my good shoes, and I want to keep them that way, OK? If you two clean up this mess, I'll see if Ruby can come over later. Oh, we better do a good job, or we won't get to try out Ruby's shoes. <sighs> Why does playing and having fun always mean tidying up afterwards? Hmm. Joe! You know how Nana comes from a faraway island and knows about Ruby's special shoes? Well, I wonder if her slippers are magic. What if we fix them up and make them really special? Then she can fly away home for her birthday. Brilliant idea! We'll be needing a few things. Great idea to have our own workshop, Joe. OK, then. Let's see what we can do to make these into magic slippers. That's me finished. Ta-da! Me too. Ta-da! Oh. oh no. We should have said what they'd look like before we began. Oh, Nana's magic slippers don't have any heels. We can't click one, two, three. Ruby's on her way over with her shoes. Oh, and by the way, Nana's slippers are missing. I don't suppose you've seen them anywhere. Mm. <laughs> I was thinking we'd buy her a new pair for her birthday, but she'll love these even more. Still, 
You shouldn't have taken Nana's slippers without permission. Sorry, Mum. We wanted to make them magic so she could fly home for her birthday. All right, then. I know you meant well. I'll bring these to Nana. These are the special red shoes I get to wear for the play. Wow, Ruby. Are they really magic? Can Joe and me have a go? <laughs> it's not really magic, Jack. Come on, Ruby. Can we try? Well, OK, then. See if they fit. Whoa. Oh. Perfect. OK, Joe. Ready for takeoff? One, two, three. Everybody, look at this. Is everything all right, Nana? Oh, <laughs> My cousins only sent me a ticket to come to the Caribbean for my birthday. Now that's what I call magic. It's all thanks to you boys and your magic slippers. Nana, we wanted you to have the best birthday ever. Thank you, children. Well, I need to get going. See you all later. I think you deserve a special treat for all your hard work. These are for the opening night of Ruby's play. We're all going! Yay! Nana doesn't need to know that it was the three clicks of Ruby's shoes that did it. Hey, Joe? Wonder if they've any magic left. Let me try. 